That the truth might continue, why Paul, part 6. Previously, it was observed that the Apostle Paul went up by revelation to share and explain the gospel which he preached among. Some might not pay too much attention to this intentional act on Paul's part, but given the issue that caused Christ to send Paul to Jerusalem, it is very important. Let's think about this. Remember, Paul's reason for going up to Jerusalem from Antioch was that certain men came down from Judea taught the brethren, Acts 15 verse 1, namely Gentile believers who had been saved per the gospel preached of Paul. Acts 15 verse 1 dot so. Paul took a saved yet uncircumcised Gentile with him to Jerusalem as exhibited. And these men told these Gentile believers that, except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. And with Titus in tow, Paul took Peter and the others, which were of reputation aside, and explained the gospel of grace that Christ had instructed him to preach again. Discovering this often overlooked action of Paul's might seem odd to some which might not think there be a need for Paul to explain the gospel, but there it is he had to. Paul continues his commentary on the Jerusalem council. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brothers unawares brought in, who came in privately to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus that they might bring us into bondage, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Galatians 2 verses 3 to 5 And the student of the word will ask why? Why did Paul make a point of taking Titus and further a point of not letting anyone require that he be circumcised to be around? Those in the Jerusalem Kingdom Church. Who were these members of the Jerusalem Church? that were false brothers, why did they feel it necessary to spy? And why did Peter and the church leadership allow them to do so? What was the need of their spying, and why did they not already understand the liberty which we have in Christ? In answer to these, obviously, these were of the same camp of those who came down to Antioch and taught circumcision and law-keeping as requisite for salvation. And obviously, Paul used the uncircumcised status of Titus to flush these false ones out and to show their motive as one of bringing those saved under Paul's gospel under bondage. And with Peter and the other leadership present, Paul states of these false ones that they gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour. So, contrary to Paul's private explanation of his gospel to Peter and the Jerusalem church leadership, he very openly demonstrated that the teaching of a requirement of circumcision and law-keeping as requisite for salvation would not be tolerated, not one little bit. Why did Paul do this? Well, he answers this question quite pointedly, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you, and the you of which he speaks are the Galatian believers and all grace gospel believers. This is a powerful statement that should not be taken lightly. Quite frankly, it is a game changer. Don't miss this.